Eric, Byler, and I have been here since January of this year documenting the closing of the only hospital that serves Hyde County, Town of Belhaven, and surrounding area in Eastern North Carolina. Two days ago, we were in Washington, North Carolina, the county seat for Beaufort County. We thought there was gonna be a hearing there. Turned out the hearing was the next day, but while I was there, I decided to go into the Registry of Deeds and actually look up the original deeds to the property where the hospital sits. And I think the documents that I found there were end up having significant impact on the course of events as we go forward. You know, all these books, right? And I pull out this book, I opened it, and I opened it to the exact page. This page, 274. And I looked down and I saw the name Clark. This is, this is Adam's great-grandfather, Pam's grand, grandfather. It's like, almost like they're trying to speak to me, like from out there. I'm not, I'm not joking. I opened this book. I can't even look. If a property is donated, for a specific purpose, okay? And it's no longer being used for that purpose. What happens to the property? Since so chapter 659 of the session laws of 1947. So I think we need to look at exactly what this says. And you're sure the donated land is where the hospital stands? Yes, I'm positive. This is like the ending of a Scooby-Doo episode or something. <laughs> told me the other night that uh, your grandparents had owned this property. Right. So George W. Clark and his wife Glade E. Clark in consideration of the premises and the sum of $10. George Clark and his wife Glade E. Clark were releasing the rights to Allen Street so that the town of Belhaven could close that street and build a hospital there. And I also found the deed transferring the property from the town of Belhaven to Pungo District Hospital Corporation. This deed made the 20th day of January, 1948, by the town of Belhaven, in consideration of the benefits to be derived from the construction and operation of a hospital on the property here and after, described and pursuant to the authority granted by Chapter 659. 659. I'm gonna be saying that number in my head all night. 659, 659. Chapter 659, 1947 session laws. You ready? Yep. An act to authorize the Board of Aldermen of the Town of Belhaven to appropriate the part of Allen Street extending from Front Street to Pantega Creek and to provide for the use of said property for a hospital. Yeah, yeah. It gets better. The General Assembly of North Carolina do enact section one that the Board of Aldermen of Town of Belhaven be, and it is hereby authorized. I oh, can't read it, I'm gonna cry. House Bill 905, Chapter 659. An act to authorize the Board of Aldermen of the Town of Belhaven to appropriate the part of Allen Street extending from Front Street to Panticle Creek and to provide for the use of said property for a hospital. The General Assembly of North Carolina do enact Section 1 that the Board of Aldermen of the Town of Belhaven be and it is hereby authorized and empowered in its discretion to convey the use of the hospital to be operated by a non-profit, non-stock corporation which may be organized for said purpose that part of Allen Street 100 feet wide extending from Front Street southwestwardly to Pantego Creek. The said property shall be conveyed to such hospital as may be determined by the Board of Aldermen of said town without consideration other than the benefits to be derived by the citizens of said town from the construction and operation of the hospital on the said property. And the said Board of Aldermen 
and its discretion is hereby fully authorized and empowered to appropriate and use said property for hospital purposes in any other manner which in its opinion will be for the best interest of the people of the said town in any other manner which in its opinion will be for the best interest of the people of the said town <laughs> This act shall be in full force. Shall be in full force and effect. From and after its ratification. And the General Assembly read three times. And ratified this, the first day of April. First day of April, 1947. 1947. 1947. The state law very specifically says that this property is to be used for a hospital. And it also very specifically says that it is to be used for the benefit of the people of the town of Bellhaven. Yes. I like that. That's now, good. the definition of a hospital is very clear to me. It's not a clinic. It's not a 24-7 Band-Aid shop. No. Since there is no hospital that's open, I think right now the town can say that property belongs to the town of Bellhaven. You're the owners, not the four managers, not the LSC members. It belongs to you. It's a done deal. They didn't have to do that years ago, 65 years ago. They didn't have to do the state law, did they? I love it. I hope the lawyers put it together and, and shoot. Shoot from the hip. But if we want... own it, yeah. can it be mortgaged? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. The town can, oh, absolutely. Yeah, they can borrow money yeah. against it. Of course. Yeah. Then we have them should be three yeah. feet in the air. I say the property shall be conveyed as well as may be determined. Without consideration of the living. Mm. Pretty clear, huh? This is so strongly worded. This is state law. And the state law is very specific about what this particular property is supposed to do from 1947. So at some point, there's some collective wisdom somewhere. They saw fit to spell it out. And they even say for the... This is the part that got me going. It's like, best interest of the people of the said town. <laughs>